Hi, welcome to 2023, Happy New Year, and welcome to Emacs Bowling. I'm Thomas, and today I'm going to be taking a look at 2022 and giving you my list of the top 10 balls that I've thrown from Storm, Rotogrip, and 900 Global in 2022 of the new releases. So first, a little disclaimer, I haven't thrown every new ball released in 2022, so anything I haven't thrown is not going to be on this list. That's just how it is. Let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree on my list or on some of the balls on the list and uh, we can have a little chat. But yeah, let's move into the list. So number 10, the Supernova. I actually really like the Supernova. It's a strong, smoother ball kind of reminds me of a proton physics i think i picked the wrong layout although um, on the supernova i think i should have gone with a pin-up layout and i would have liked it better it'd probably be a little bit higher on this list but it feels to me like a really good strong ball in the same category as the proton physics right now i just really trust the proton physics and really like that ball so most of the time i i decide on throwing the proton physics rather than the supernova but i know for some people it's the other way around so yeah but that's uh, that's my number 10 from 2022. number nine rs t x3 again it's kind of the same thing as the supernova i think had i gone with a different layout i would have liked the x3 better it would have been higher on this list to me i i liked it and i've actually used it quite a bit um, but it is a little more of a niche ball than something like a proton physics or a reality or other balls in that that category which is why I, I put it in ninth place because i think when it's good it's really good but i can't use it as often as some of the other balls on this list so number eight the idle cosmos this this is pretty simple idle cosmos is a cleaner uh, smooth ball it's fairly similar to the idle synergy which i really really like i still have an idle synergy and right now i'm just throwing the idle synergy um, when i need a ball in that idle cosmos idle synergy category just simply because i know the synergy better i've thrown it more i don't have a synergy anymore i'm pretty sure the cosmos is going to be my replacement so uh, basically it's in eighth place because it just hasn't gotten time to replace the synergy yet so in seventh place, the Night Road. And the Night Road is really hard for me to place because it's not a ball that it's a hierarchy ball, which I don't use very often. I know a lot of people really like hierarchy balls, but I don't use them very often. By that uh, logic, it should be pretty low on the list because I don't use it very often. But when I use it, when I can use it, it's amazing and it does something completely different than my other balls. Uh, I think it's great. It might be the best ball in my bag for house shots. And um, so yeah, that's kind of why it's in seventh place. It's not something I'm gonna use all the time, but when I use it, it's gonna be really, really good. So seventh place for the night road. In sixth place, we have the Hustle USA. And the Hustle USA is obviously a hustle ball. It's a lower price point ball, but with a really, really strong and early cover. And I think this is a very underrated ball. I think if you're looking for something that hooks and, and gives you actually a lot of performance for your money, the Hustle USA is gonna be a great option. To me, it, it kind of gives me that smooth, controllable motion, but still early um, on medium patterns on shorter patterns i've used it on, on short patterns a couple of times it looks really really good uh, if i haven't been able to throw urethane um, it's a really good option because of the core's a little smaller so it's not it doesn't flare as much it's not as violent as some of the stronger uh, balls like um, like a gem or or even like a sensol or phase two or something like that so it's something different, but the cover is strong enough to be usable on a lot of different sport conditions um, and different tougher patterns. So really, really good ball. I'm uh, again, it, it's in sixth place, 
because it's just not the ball I'm gonna use all the time, but on shorter patterns, on, uh, on medium patterns where I can use a little bit weaker core to go a little straighter, it's gonna be in play uh, a lot, I think. So in fifth place, very fitting, we have the phase five. Um, phase five, I, I like it. It's, uh, it kind of feels to me like a step down from my Sen. Um, a little cleaner than the Sen, but in the same kind of category. And uh, the only reason why it's in the fifth spot is I haven't had a whole lot of chance to throw it. I haven't been bowling a whole lot of tournaments lately, so it could definitely move up with a little bit more use, but I feel like um, it's a really good medium shiny ball uh, that gives me a lot of different options. So I think uh, think the phase five is gonna be, be something I'm gonna have in my bag in 2023 for sure. In the fourth place, we have the Sen Soul. Sen Soul is the follow-up to the Sen Master. It's earlier and smoother than the Sen Master. And for me, it's a really, really good, I, I actually call it my, um, my symmetrical uh, early ball because it's it's strong it's smooth it's early it's really good on fresh patterns patterns where you have to control uh, control the mid lane control the back end so it's it's one of those balls where if my big asims are too strong i can go to the sensor it'll give me a little easier way through the um, through the mid lane through the fronts but without sacrificing control so really really enjoy using the Sen Soul and it, it fits really well in the entire Sen line. Third place, now we're getting to the podium, is the uh, Infinite Physics. So as you know I'm a big big fan of the original physics, of the uh, Proton Physics and the Infinite Physics has been um, has been really good too. It's cleaner, um, it, it has a cleaner cover than the physics so it's, it's cleaner, it has a little more uh, motion down lane and it gives me an option to use the physics core in um, at a point in time or at a point in transition where the proton physics is just too early and too strong so it's a really nice step down from the proton physics but st it's still stronger than balls like a, a x2 or a dark code or um, balls like that so it, it fits uh, that spot really well and does it really well. And of all the balls on this list, I feel like the Infinite Physics is probably the ball I can throw for the most games in a row. Because it can be good on, on fresher conditions, it can be good on the burn, depending on how the lanes play and how they transition. So I, I can see myself bowling an entire uh, six game block with the Infinite Physics. So moving on to number two. And uh, I don't know if you could have guessed this, but uh, reality check. I like, really like the reality. I like the altered reality, and reality check to me feels like uh, feels like a step down from the reality with a lot more back end. It's a really, really good option for me. It's the thing with the reality check is when it's looked good for me, it's looked better than anything else, and it's looked different than anything else because it gives me this super, super strong ball that doesn't lose energy. And that's really something um, something kind of unique. So I'm able to use it further left than my, my other strong asymmetrical balls like a Reality or Proton Physics. Uh, but at the same time, I'm also able to use it on drier conditions because of, uh, of the continuation it has. So it's really, really good. I've really enjoyed using it on a lot of different patterns. Anything from, I've used this on anything from 45 feet to uh, 37 feet. It's just a really good all around strong, cleaner, very continuous ball. Um, I think that's gonna be, it's gonna be in my bag a lot and it's going down the lane a lot in 2023. On to number one. Let me know in the comments at this point if you can guess what my number one ball of 2022 is. But uh, yeah, drum roll. Number one is the gem. And this is kind of a, a, kind of a little bit funny because the gem is not the ball that I can use for six games in a row. I can maybe use it for two, three games and then I have to switch to a different ball. 
the thing about the gem is it's so good and so unique um, I feel that it, it just gives me it gives me a, a really really good chance of getting some big results early on that a lot of the other balls just won't allow me to do because of how strong the gem is how early it is how smooth it is I can kind of use it in the same way that uh, other people use their urethane balls and I ball a lot of big games on fresh patterns even on tough fresh patterns with the gem because of how early it reads the mid lane how much control I get from it and I, I feel like it's the ball that I bring out of the bag every time on fresh and I can use it on pretty much every fresh pattern we ball on and um, so it's the ball that gets me going out of practice gets me started with the tournament in a good way gets me gets me comfortable and then when the gem starts getting a little too early I can switch to a different ball um, but it gets me off to a good start which is super super important you don't want to go out and, and ball 140 the first game of a tournament and then be behind from the get-go you're stressing you're pressing you want to go out have a good ball reaction have a good a controllable ball reaction and get a good score early on and I feel like the gem has done that for me a lot this year and it has given me an, an option that um, I had something that was close to the gem but I didn't have the gem before and the gem is uh, yeah that one's been really good I've drilled a lot of them during 2022 and I'm gonna keep drilling them in 2023 so that's my list let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree or if you think uh, I'm completely wrong then how would you rank your top 10 and um, yeah please subscribe watch uh, our coming videos from the PBA ball reviews uh, all kinds of thing we're going to be doing here in 2023 so thanks for watching hope you had a safe new year's and uh, yeah I'll be seeing you soon and in the comments bye